I shouldn't be drinking at all. Hello, mate. <laughs> bye bye. Which who cares? But I felt completely horlicked. <laughs> a few requests, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, the popular song, which tells a story about that popular man who was born in that place called the Liberties. We like to help you all to sing along with us tonight as we have a few bars of the Liberty Boy sung by uh, that fat man. I was born and bred in the darling spot, well famed in history. In the oldest part of Dublin, and it's called the Liberties. I'm really proud to come from there, I'll keep the banner by smile. I will drink all night, and be polite, a Liberty boy am I. I used to love this place. The crazy, ridiculous things we used to do. Eklund Street buildings. This is the place now where I was brought up. I wasn't born here, in fact. I was born just down on the Coombe. And that place absolutely no longer exists. But just here now, for instance, this particular window. This is the landing where I used to play with the toys and the corgis. And the rows we used to have over who owned it what, the whole lot. And the church, let's say James's church there, where I made the real convo. And the hall down there, for some strange reason, I called it the parochial hall, because that's the way it always used to be spelt, with a CH. And I remember getting a few clips in the years of my father for swinging out of these, these windows. And the neighbors around here, you know, you wouldn't find better anywhere. They were so home, homely, and warm, friendly. And they had to put up with an awful lot for me. But it brings back a lot of memories. And I often come down this way, and I get a buzz when I look up here. I think about the various things that happened. Uh, sort of nice, naive things, like, um, would you believe, <laughs> pulling out the fuses and running away with them, knocking on the doors. I'm doing the strangest of things, but I suppose they, they just accepted it as part of life. They just had to put up with me and all my little gang. That's Lockhart, the butchers now. There's a very famous fella lives in there, who went to school with me. Jim Lockhart out of horse lips, no doubt. And that's Malloy's. That's the uh, grocery shop. In fact, I remember one time the man had a bill in that place. One particular time it ran a bit too high, so I offered to do a bit of work in the shop to pay off the bill. Good old Joe gave me the job. It was great. Hello, Mrs. Bly. How are you? Well, Joe. How was things? Long time no see. You're looking well. Well, keep the best side out. How are things going? Busy as ever? Kept going. Hard to make a few shins these times. Ah, so that's what it's all about. I should be in there serving now, I should. You should indeed. Nothing really has changed around here, basically. No. You still have this place well stocked up. Ah. I don't know how you get up as high as that now for the Weedabix. <laughs> the <laughs> <always did. laughs> I'm sure you would. You didn't want, did want springs under your feet. But nice. your hands are freezing. Yeah, it must be hard to swarm. Your hands is warm. No one. Are you all apart for singing? Right. Where have they gone? Those crazy days when we were happy with the penny, where have they gone? Lovely. Those crazy days for you and me, where have they gone? That's what I'm always saying, you know that? And those crazy days. Stand up by the ice cream man on a summer's morning with a penny in your hand. Well, the real Brendan Grace is me. No Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, but maybe to a certain extent. I'm uh, the funny man who plays the guitar, sings the nice songs sometimes, the nice romantic songs as well on stage. But off stage, I think I'm very serious and very deep, really. 
very, very settled, extremely settled. And whenever I meet people, people seem to be happy. Oh, crazy day. That's fantastic. Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.